Hello everyone, thank you for watching and welcome back to my channel. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Maybe grab a little bit of popcorn. Um, unfortunately, I've had a very bad accident in terms of my mirror, my beautiful mirror that I needed to create these beautiful looks. But I have decided to be creative with my little mirror. So if you do see it poking out here and there, you know, in the video, just don't get too annoyed, okay? It's just that I hope I don't have seven years of bad luck from now on. So I'm hoping that that's not going to happen to me. But it's fine. It's fine. I managed to be creative anyways. So please, without further ado, keep watching give it a subscribe and a thumbs up if you like this video and yeah let's do it okay so first we're going to start with my anti-age eraser this one is in a shade neutralizer and it's the maybelline and i'm just going to be applying that all over my lid And then just going to be tapping it in. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here. I'll be using my NYX palette. This shade here. Just going to dab that in my finger. Because I already used all my brushes and they got color on it while I was doing the other eye. So... Next, I'm going to be using my Revolution Reloaded uh, eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to be using this one first. I'm just going to be applying this on my eyelid, just across a patty motion underneath my crease sort of below it not where it is and not above it want to keep the eyeshadow quite low once I've finished with that one I usually use my Cruelan makeup shadow and I think this one is the S5 in dark green. And I'm just going to be applying that right on top. Next, I'm going to be using the same palette, Reloaded. And I'll be using the darker shade green. Just going to blend this out, just the harsh, harsh edges. Just going to reapply that green again, the darkest green, which I used the second time. Just going to reapply it again on the same place. I'm just going to blend the edge again, very gently. Next, I'm going to be using my brown shade from the same palette, and this will be this one here. Just going to be applying that along here. Sort of a gentle line. And going across. Blend it out a little bit. In this 
takes time. I mean, it's all about blending. So you just have to have quite a bit of patience. But it will be worth it, I promise. <laughs> and I'm just going to go back in with the same green. Um, because these shadows, yes, they're good and they're quite good pigmented, but they tend to be quite weak at the same time. So whenever you try to blend them out, they do blend out quite quickly. Just tapping it in. And I'm just going to be leaving a little bit of space in the middle. So I do bring this up a little bit. And I leave this area where my eye is, where my pupil is. Just in the middle, I'm just going to leave that space empty. And I'm just going to take my blending brush and blend away. Back with the brown and add a little bit more just on top of the green. What you want to do is take a small brush, a lip brush if you want to, use your concealer, apply it on your back on the back of your hand, and then scrape up with the brush your concealer and just apply it right in the middle of your eyeshadow like a sort of a clean space for you to apply the next shadow that you're about to do it doesn't have to be neat but make sure that it's not too wide out compared to the other eye so just try to keep it minimal go back in with another shade of green from the same palette and this one is this beautiful green here where I've applied my concealer that and if for example it comes up quite wide, much wider than this one. What you can do is go back in with the same green, dark green, and just go over the edges a little bit. So it covers and sort of blends more in and has that sort of smooth effect. So it's not like harsh lines in between. So it brings it a little bit closer. Next, what I want to do, I want to go back in with my brown and just softly blend these colors in a little bit more. So I'm just going to go over this bit here. the green and you apply the brown and then you sort of blend the line in between them this does require quite a bit of blending All right, nice and neat Don't want anything to look too sharp. I'm 
I'm going to be using my NYX uh, brow pencil and this one is in shade Espresso. No, I promised you I wouldn't use it anymore, but unfortunately it's got good colors and I can't seem to get away from it. <laughs> um, so my Revolution Flawless Number 4 palette, and I'm just going to be using this one here. And this will be just to put a little bit of highlight underneath my brow and also in the inner corners of my eye. Okay, so now that I've finished my eyeshadows, I'm just going to go ahead and use my favorite, favorite baby, and that's my Maybelline Master Ink Liquid Eyeliner in black. And I'm just going to be applying it on my eyelid. As you get to the corner of your eye, you want to make sure that the eyeshadows are from your corner of your eye going up to your eyebrows, almost, <laughs> in that direction. And what you're going to do, you're going to go from that corner and draw a line going upwards as well. So the same way that I have it on the other side, which is like this. So it will be the same. I will just go ahead and apply it on the same level. to apply my mascara this one is from thick and fast from soap and glory and my foundation so for my foundation of course you all know is the boncho one to three I'm just going to be using my fingers to apply this beauty. Okay, so now that I've applied my foundation, I'm just going to go ahead with the same concealer that I've used on my eyelids. And I'm just going to be applying that underneath my eyes. along my nose I'm going to be using my finishing powder 
and I'm just going to be using my small Kiko brush, my favorite, and this one is 57. And I'm just going to be using a very small amount of that powder and putting it under my eyes first to set my under eye because that's where it creases quite quickly. So I'm just gonna set that first. I'm just going to be taking my extra large uh, punch brush by Real Techniques and I'm just going to be dabbing that all over my face to set the foundation. Next what I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to be applying a quick inner liner in my eyes and then a little bit of my mascara at the bottom lashes and a little bit of the same brow shadow that I've used on the upper lids I'm also going to be using it and for the liner I'm just using the Master Smoky by Maybelline At the same time, blending the black. Okay, so now that the eye shading is done, I'm just going to contour quickly. Guys, <laughs> sorry. My camera has cut off again and I'm just going to now use a little bit of my Hoola from Benefit and I'm just going to be using very lightly all over my contour. And lastly, before last, <laughs> I'm going to be using my highlights shade from my next palette, which is this one here. And I'm just going to be applying that on the top of my cheeks. Like so. Lastly, I'm going to be using a little bit of my blush, which is from my Body Shop palette. And I'll just be using this little pinky here. And I'll just be applying that very lightly. Along in between my contour and the highlighting. And lastly, one of my favorite matte lipsticks. And this one is from Smashbox. This one is called Stepping Out, so that's the one I'm going to be using. So this is the finished look. I hope you really enjoyed this and thank you for watching. Love you loads and mwah!